Hi folks, Max from GalaxyS4Root.com. Uh, I've got some great news. Um, I've got uh, Android 4.4 KitKat uh, running flawless on all my uh, Galaxy S4s, except for GTI 9500. Um, check out for this week the Gummy ROM. This is a straight up pretty much uh, Android 4.4 build, but it also gives you a uh, elite kernel, uh, which gives you overclocking. Um, and also very very fast and smooth and also you get a bunch of customizations um, let me walk you through a status bar you can go ahead and also change the battery icon if you want to um, those are the different ones also for date you can go ahead and move it to the center um, show AM PM also date if you want to so it looks very nice a nice level of customization also notification drawer you can go ahead and set your own carrier labels uh, hardware keys you can customize your hardware keys a uh, long press uh, hardware keys all that good stuff here uh, very nice stuff and uh, if you want you can even get soft buttons uh, at the bottom here if you want and also you can get a bunch of um, bunch of buttons here and uh, you may have to reboot for this to work um, also, you get a lock screen here. Um, you can make some great lock screen stuff, shortcuts, uh, such as torch. So if I'm in the lock screen, if I do a long press with my home button, that's going to launch my torch. If I press it again, it's going to turn it off. Um, so you can set all of those customizations there. A battery around unlock ring if you want it. Um, you can see that there's a bar there. Nice little uh, customization, customization there. Um, some more stuff with power sounds, CRT screen off. Uh, of course, you can overclock uh, this ROM. It's set at the default 1.89 gigahertz. Um, you can go all the way to 2.268 gigahertz. That's super fast. Um, so very nice. And I'm getting 4 uh, GLT signals fine on my at and I've actually tested all the different versions um, because I know last week, well, I know just to make sure everything is working uh, but this is a near flawless ROM probably the best build I've seen uh, for the Galaxy S4 uh, 4GLT working fine on the Verizon and also Sprint um, I know a lot of you Sprint Verizon users are waiting for a stable Android 4.4 KitKat well it is pretty much here um, so definitely check it out and I've got it running on my GTI 9505 um, pretty good stuff and uh, you yes yeah, so you can go ahead and upgrade the camera um, also you can get uh, the latest Viper 4 Android working uh, on your uh, Android 4.4 KitKat this ROM here uh, gummy ROM looking pretty darn good um, you know this is probably the best build I've seen it uh, so definitely if you have a Galaxy S4 AT&T T-Mobile uh, Sprint Verizon Canadian GTI 9505 do check it out for this week's ROM of the week um, this is great because the IR Blaster is working. You just have to download um, a third-party IR Blaster app, which I have on one of my phones, and uh, it's it's working fine. I just turned on my TV upstairs. There we go. IR Remote. I use the Samsung Remote here, just a simple one, uh, but it works just fine. So definitely check it out for this week's Romilly Week. I'm looking pretty good, and do let me know what you think. But uh, I've tested everything that I can. Uh, YouTube works just fine, video replay works just fine, camera works, uh, everything works, Bluetooth. Um, so definitely check it out for this week's Ron Week and do let me know what you think. And uh, as always, um, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxys4root.com for more uh, Ron Week tips, hacks, and more. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay on Android.